In this video, we're going over emulating Android on pretty much any computer, Windows, Linux, Mac, all using VirtualBox. Now, if you've ever downloaded VirtualBox and tried to run Android on it, there's a couple default settings that make it very cumbersome. One, it thinks you're using a tablet instead of a mouse. Two, a lot of times it can't recognize the display in VirtualBox. And then three, it's usually underpowered because you didn't set your processors correctly. So I'm going to walk through all of the things you need to do to have that Android VirtualBox running perfectly. So let's go ahead and jump over on the desktop and get this done. Okay, so to start out with, we need to go to OS Boxes and download the latest Android image. Now you could build your own, but that makes it a little more overly cumbersome. And for this video, I want it to be as easy as possible. So if you come here, I'll put the link down below as well. You can scroll down here and you can see the different types of Androids you can do. So if there's a specific version that you're looking for, uh, they don't have version 9 that's out just yet. However, they do have Oreo and Nougat and uh, or Nougat and Marshmallow and then even older versions than that. You don't really need anything too crazy. I would just download Oreo version 8 uh, because pretty much everything runs on 8. Uh, some things like if you need some older compatibility and you just want to test it if you're a developer, 7 can be good but uh, for the most part we're going to do that. I, I went ahead and already downloaded 7 just to kind of show you the actual setup process. So let's go ahead and flip over to VirtualBox and try it out. So right here is kind of what I have for my virtual boxes. We're going to create a new one. I have Android 8 already. We're going to go ahead and just hit new. And that way you can see a brand new setup. We're going to call this one Android 7. And we're going to just go to Linux. And then it's going to be other Linux 64-bit. If you download the 64-bit version 32 for 32. So we'll hit no. And then we want to expand this. I'd recommend 4 gigs. Uh, just to be on the safe side we want to use an existing hard disk file that we just downloaded so we're going to go ahead and hit the little icon and then add and then from the addition we're going to pick the one we want so uh, we want android 7.1 we're going to choose this and then we simply create the vm now before we start this android 7 here's the old android 8 but here's android 7 we're going to go to settings and there's a couple things you need to do in here. So from this screen, we're going to go to system and the very first thing in here is the pointing device is set up as tablet. This is no good. You need to make sure this is PS2 mouse. Otherwise, your mouse is not going to register correctly when you're browsing around in Android. The next thing is I highly recommend changing your processor count to whatever system you're running. I have up to 16 virtual CPUs I can use. So I want to use more than one. I want to use probably four of the 16. Now you probably have less. Uh, as a good rule of thumb, don't go over about half your available CPUs. So if you have a quad core system, you probably want this at two. So with that done, um, we can go ahead and switch over to display. From display, you absolutely need 3D acceleration and you also need to switch this to VBox SVGA. Uh, this will enable your video, which obviously is needed. So from all this, we now have mouse, we now have video, everything's configured, so it should run pretty fast as well. So we can hit OK, and then simply start your virtual machine. And from here, you'll have the startup screen. We can just hit OK, and it'll pull into the root here. Now, when it pulls into root, or sometimes it'll just have a little hash sign like this, don't do anything, just let it go and then you'll get the Android symbol. Now on first boot, you'll see this Android symbol for quite a bit. It'll kind of fade in and out and do some funny things. Uh, but this can take anywhere between probably one and two minutes to up to five. So this is actually a pretty fast boot, obviously with some of those optimizations. But from here, we can simply just click in and then move around. Now you can go full screen mode if you're really gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff. I highly recommend doing that. Um, I'll hit the right control to get my mouse back and you can go into full screen mode with post F or that. And then from here, we can really just kind of go crazy. So uh, we can pull up our browser, install stuff from the Play Store, that type of thing. But this is how easy it is to do Android. So there's no real reason to 
uh, go download one of those real emulators that comes with a bunch of malware and just uh, bloatware and other junk that you don't need. You want to be using the stock experience with Play Store. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, and shut this down. Uh, I'm going to use the right control and H and then just hit power off. So with that powered off, let's go ahead and launch into eight. I've actually already logged in and that way you can see a sample version of this. We're gonna do some Clash of Clans because it's been a while since I've done that and it's probably the most popular Android game that people use emulators for on Android. So that is why I chose it. Uh, so don't critique me too much on my base because I haven't actually played Clash of Clans in probably three to four years, maybe even longer. I don't even remember the last time. So, but that's what we're gonna play right now. All right, so we have our main desktop and if we just hold I just kind of did a whole click and then moved it over to the side to kind of get the already installed Clash of Clans. All right, here we go. So we have this. Um, we're not going to actually open up anything, but uh, we have a little bit of base. We can come in here, do our collections. It's pretty snappy. It, it kind of has a little bit of a lag to it, a little bit of tearing. Uh, but nothing too too crazy. So with that, I think let's try and attack just so you can see a real world example of this. So uh, let's give it a whirl. So here's this guy. Um, I don't even know what troops I have. So we're going to just go ahead and uh, start somewhere. So I think uh, here on the edge is probably the best spot. He's based on my expert opinion. Go ahead and do a couple of these guys, do a couple of warriors, and send a couple more of these guys in. Got a couple potions, but I don't want to use those. Not on this. And there we go. Defeat. But got, got a little bit of gold, a little bit of Goo. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, so we're done. Uh, but I just kind of want to show you a real world example, kind of what you you get from this kind of play. But overall, I still really like the stock experience, it, although it could be just a little bit better on 3D games. Uh, just some of the accelerations, not quite there. Uh, but we'll cover that in a later video. So there you have it. That is VirtualBox in its entirety. I really like this method because it's clean, it's stock Android, it's not some Frankenstein thing that you get like with Bluestacks or some other Android emulator that just adds a bunch of a spyware, also bloat and malware on your computer. There's just all kinds of bad things that come with these packaged Android emulators that you see online, where this is actually from the factory stock Android and getting it working in here, you'll notice that it's far more stable. Uh, everything works just a little bit better. So that's why I really like it. And it's not really widely used, which is kind of shocking to me. Uh, I, I really enjoy this method quite a bit. So uh, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments, because I'm always curious to see what other people are using. There's a lot of emulators out there and I'm sure there's other methods that may be even better than this one. So uh, check the comments. And with that, a big shout out to my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make this video. And I'll see you in the next one.